So Achara and I are having a disagreement. There's a candle back there, as you can see, and it was flickering for a moment. I want y'all to tell us in the comments if Ajabi is correct or incorrect, okay? Because it was flickering for a second. I said, oh, we got to change that, and then it stopped flickering. And then she goes, what's the problem? And I go, well, some people, neurotic like myself, get really mad when the candle's flickering during the video. And Achara goes, no, that's just you, Jabby. No, no one else that is like is that. No, that is not what I said. You misrepresented me. Uh, excuse me. I said, not everyone is neurotic like you. What does that mean, Achara? That means some people are neurotic like you, but the majority of people are not. Enough people are neurotic that they'll leave a comment and it makes me go, okay, that needs to be fixed. Only oh, the see, it's flickering. It's flickering again. Only the neurotic people leave comments. Uh, it, it's enough that it makes me neurotic. I'm like, I don't like them being neurotic and being all like distracted by it. I want them to look at your pretty face. How about that? Oh, so <laughs> I, I want that candle to be changed out so that no one has to like look at it. So uh, hold on. So I'm trying to settle the debate. Someone comment about it and then someone else vote up that comment about whether or not you dislike the candle flickering in the background. If it's static, we're on the same page. We're all like, cool, awesome. Static candle, no one notices that. It's it's nice atmosphere. But it starts flickering, it starts distracting the eye like a, like a fly that keeps going in front of your face. So we need one person to write a comment, I don't mind the candle, and then someone else to write, I hate a flickering candle, and then see which one gets the most upvotes. Uh, Dave, that works, yes. Okay. Ow, what the hell is that for? D DV is not funny. What do I do? I do feeling. Change it faster. I love all my scents. I'm gonna bring them over here, okay, Jabby Koe? I love all my scented candles. They're so mm -hmm. mm. I get very excited by my scented candles. Let's see what I put up with. Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawe, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? And we're looking at Mumbai versus Delhi. Who's more savage? Ashish Chanchalani Vines. Oh, Ashish is in this. Uh, Ashish texted me the other day. He goes, hey, Jabby, how are you? It's been so long. And then I texted him back. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did a reaction to your video. We were rooting for you. You guys probably saw it. Though, what's her name? Kiara. Kiara Advani. And I was like, we were rooting for you. So how'd it go, man? Crickets. So what else is new with you, Ashish? Crickets. You're looking good in your in your videos lately. You've been, you've been working out? Crickets. Crickets. Like he's sending me back pictures of cricket players. Ha ha. Say thoda sir. Anyway, uh, we're gonna look at this. This is from Tammy Bot. Thank you, Tammy Bot, for allowing us to react this. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. And sub speaking of subscribing and upvoting, subscribe to Tammy Bot if you haven't done so already. He's at 4.04 .04 million subscribers as of this recording. Doesn't need our help, but I'm gonna push it anyway. There's a link in the description below. You wanna click on that link, give the original video an upvote, subscribe to him from there, and here we go. Hello, hello, welcome to another very special episode in a bid to increase my audience base. I have decided to call different regions savage. So welcome ah. to Mumbai cars are savage. How about LA cars are savage? How about that? Nay. We have the OG gang with us, prisoner OPs here. Hey, Rowan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Ryder Opie's here. And of course, we have Shohar Opie. You see a very familiar place. Please give it up for Ashish Chajwani, a.k.a. Ashish. What do you want to say? Like a provider, a shohar. I can suggest options. Yes, I can suggest options. So, it should be ER, right? So, theater Opie. What? Theater Opie, it's going to happen. Theater Opie. Theater Opie. I love Rohan. I love Rohan. I love Rohan. Two minutes into the stream, he's not roasting me. I love Rohan. <laughs> I love him. I take him over you. We have a special guest, Ashish Chajlali, aka Theater OP in the house. Ashish, hey, bye. Welcome to the episode. Thank you for making time. I know you were shooting your next video, which will release nine months from now. So congratulations <laughs> on that. <laughs> Friends, we have called Ashish here today because when you think Mumbai, you think Ashish Chanchlani. When you think Mumbai, you think myself. When you think Mumbai, you think Rohan. But we have two Gaddars. We have two Gaddar. rival enemies from Delhi, which is Vishal Gaddars. and Vishan Bhai. Vishan Bhai, today at the end of the episode, you have to accept that Mumbaiites are savage. Okay? Can I, I don't do know, right man. Now? They are. I'm going to check clear on it. This is not really relevant to the video uh, as a whole, but when he swaps out the names for nicknames, it confuses me. I'm like, I have a hard time remembering their names already. Now you're adding on nicknames is making this more confusing. I oh, just that, that should make it easier. I literally than you, than you just, just committed. Said. No, I literally just committed Ashish Chanchalani's name to memory, like today. Finally, I got it. Now I have to remember him as Theater, theater OP. I was gonna say filmy OP, but anyway. 
Yeah, there's Ryder OP. What's his real Isner name? OP. What's his real? What are their real names? I don't remember exactly. all their real names. The whole point on going on Nishant someone else's Pai. Channel, the whole point on going on someone else's channel is to promote your own damn face and to like make yourself more famous so you get more YouTuber memberships. No, listen. Right? I'm sure everyone who's watching this from India can remember their names properly because they're Indian names. It's an extra level of difficulty for us because we don't speak the language. Yeah, so be considerate of the white people, the white folks, who doesn't know Rohan's real name. Is it Rohan? One of them's name is Rohan, right? I think so. One of them's last name is Singh? I'm sure of it. Why? Uh, it's just me. Okay, what? Are you being racist? It's not racist. It's just statistically possible that someone's last name is Singh in this conversation. If it's not them, it's me, Jabby Singh. I'm just saying, how about use their real names? Like, at least have it on they the do, screen. They do. They always say that. They they give their real name, then they go, that's Ryder OP. And then we've got Prisoner OP. They I didn't say their real names. I f they, he did. I promise you, if you want to go back and watch it. We have the OG gag with us. Prisoner OP is here. Hey, Rowan. Welcome. What's Rohan's last name? I can't just YouTube look up Rohan and then find this guy. Correct or incorrect? I'm inclined to agree with myself. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Ryder OP's here. And of course... What's Ryder OP's name, Achara? Nishant. You see, but it doesn't say that, though. Half the time people meet us, they go, hey, Jabby, and then they look at you and they go, they get nervous because they're not oh sure how to pronounce God. my name, and I don't Oh, because you're them. so angelic. No, they don't remember your name, even though I say it at the beginning of every single video. How offensive is that? So what I'm saying That's is- okay, they remember my face. Sometimes we get into an interview with people, and they're like, hi, Jabby. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Or they'll go, hi, and then they'll start looking a little bit panicked, and I'll go, hi, I'm Achara, just to save them, you know? Yeah, anyway, so. I'm, I'm not mean. I've made my point. Can I do it right now? They are. I will say check clear on it. Oh, it says Nishant there. Okay. There, see? Okay, okay, Achara, Jesus. I concede. It's not like I made a big fuss about it. Is there some joke I'm missing? There's something about the local trains. Oh no. Still better she love left. story than Twilight. Has this ever uh. been where one train who you fell in love with, every day you would meet this train, and despite that, one day the train is like, Aaj main kisi aur ke saathu. Aaj main platform number 4 pe aari. Metro oh, hai no. Semi assigned record. You yeah. are cop from this panel, Vishal. <laughs> Vishal kya metro, matlab jisme AC hota, uski baat kar rahe? Haan, jisme gate apne ab band ho jata. Haan, haan, announce bhi karte hain, kaun se side kya aayega. Well, you tell me, can you sell bangles inside a metro? <laughs> Kuch bhi! Can you yeah. sell earrings inside a metro? <laughs> <laughs> Kuch bhi! Smell करने को मिलता है metro के अंदर हाँ क्या गांड में खुश रहे तो खुजा सकते हैं तो metro के अंदर हाँ call us when your train network kills twenty people a day I'm not from England and I'm not a New Yorker and I'm not from France and I'm definitely not from Mumbai so I can't relate to this at all over here we have one subway it gets us from Denny's to Mary Callender's like one side of the city to the other. It's terrible. It doesn't really go very far. And then when it splits off to a new direction because they have like other lines. Yeah. It's like two lines in the whole thing and it's super confusing. You go to New York and it's got like 18 different directions. All of it's clear with their map system. So I can't relate to this. No, but I, I think what he's saying is it's so disorganized because usually, you know, in a normal train station, it's going to be like, this train comes here and it'll tell you like when we went to new york we were we saw on the announcement oh okay we want to take the train to new jersey this is the train we're going to take so when you're going every day to the same platform because it always comes on that platform and then yeah. suddenly they make an announcement they're like it's coming on platform four and you're like shit yeah what languages do you speak marathi marathi yeah. all right say anything to me everyone in the comments let me know what he says <laughs> Did you say that I got a nice booty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what can you translate for our Delhi friends? What he said is that because you are with your friends, I am leaving you. Otherwise, we all know, Gaad Marto is same in all language. Uh, <laughs> but not just India. Oh, Firang ko samaj me aagya. Ki booty to bola hai. Gaad Marto. bola hai. It's the first place you go when you're being juvenile. It's like the jokes are always towards the butt. It could be the balls. The garbage place. 
Just like the truck outside. <laughs> God damn it. If it's not one thing, it's another. No, I think also... I'm, I'm very neurotic when it comes to sound. I'm just like, what the fuck now? Okay, what? I think also maybe that foreigner has lived in India for enough time to understand, like, one word. You know, like when we were watching Tanu Weds Manu and you were all like, oh, Larky, I know that word. I know that word. I was so excited. Is that... Is this... And I'm just like, you know, just shut up. That's not the word I got excited about, Achara. It's all the other ones. Like what? Gond. They didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> Bond. London. That's right. It's not Lund. Randy Newman. Oh, gosh. Cover your ears. Don't let your parents see this. <laughs> Why is Marathi mein aur kon se kon se funny funny gali hai, Rohan? Can you teach some of us? I'm a fan of Zawadia. Oh. Zawadia is the vibe, dude. Hey, Marvel Zawadia picture nahi gali hai kya shakya? Zawadia means fucker? In Marathi, yeah. Oh. Chad it sounds so much cooler in English. Oh, 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 what? What? Zural. Like when you see Zural, you know it is Zural. It cannot be a good thing. Is it true that the word for earthworm is called Gandul? It is, yes. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I'm so pretty. Absolutely Goregao. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay, this, was nice. this was really nice. Oh. It's, we stayed there. Oh, please, it's a suburb outside Delhi. Hello, sir. Where am I? <laughs> Mumbra. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I'm missing some jokes here. Okay, you said you said we stayed there and then I missed it. That was really nice. Oh. <laughs> God, please, Navi Mumbai. Hello, sir. Where am I? Oh, but the subtitles are so fucking fast. I can't keep up with. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> God. Please. It's like you gotta have an itchy trigger finger to get the subtitle. Okay. God, please, Navi Mumbai, New Mumbai city on the northeast of Mumbai. Ah. Okay. I get the joke now. I don't. Okay. Please, Navi Mumbai. Hello, sir. Where am I? <laughs> Mumbra. Suburb. It's so. No, no, in Mumbai. Where the f is Mumbra? I don't even know where Mumbra is. Mumbra, Diva, Mumbra, Kalwa, before Thani. I don't know if I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if 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 I'm like heated. Like, there was a lot of argument with Mumbra. Se oh. Mumbra was so peaceful. It was like, it was like, it was like, it was like, morning was like, it 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 Can we say Mumbra is the Delhi of Mumbai? Like that? No, never mind. Nami Pura is the Delhi. It's like, stop the joke halfway in. <laughs> Hey so we're inside Cricket. I have spoken very aggressively to uh, some of my editors about doing too many zoom ins during the conversation bits. I'm like, it's too many zooming ins. Just, it needs to be used for emphasis, not as a crutch. And I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, I see where they got it from. <laughs> it's like zoom ins all the time in this video. I'm like, God damn. You could just cut to a close up. It's fine. Yeah. No, I, it's not fine for me. But I'm just like, now I see why. I see why now. Mm -hmm. Inside Cricket. Mm -hmm. More boring shit that people don't care about, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Carry on with the memes. Tumi paahu shakta, aami asha murammi asha vata varnat alila hat. Hey. She's legit embarrassed. Hey boys, I have a question for the men. What the fuck do you want? What? Uh, an empty train. <laughs> My kneecaps are wet right now. So like, oh. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Do you remember? When we went on yes, the local crowded, train and it, it was crowded? Yes, yes. It was crowded. I think that I was so distracted at how much I took severe aggressive umbrage with her question at all. Because I'm like, hey, you know what? Y'all are not a walk in the park. Uh -huh. Y'all are so complicated. You know, and I'm a cerebral fuck. And I don't understand half of what's going on in your head. Maybe you need to stop being cerebral and be emotional. No, there's nothing to decrypt. Like, it's just a different language that, that we will never be able to speak. It's yeah, simple. same, same. No, but it's simple on our side. You go, hey, Jabby, what do you want to eat? Burgers. And then I go, hey, to Char, what do you want to eat? Well, I'm feeling like, and then I'll like give you eight options. And you're like, yeah, but I had that last week. I'm like, all eight? Yeah. yeah. So what do you want to eat? I don't, I know. don't know. Okay, how about how about sushi? I don't want sushi. I'm not, not feeling today. that. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that, extrapolate from that, every conversation with a gal. 
That's sexist. Every conversation with a, a lot chara. of gals, most gals. <laughs> anyone who has the same gender as a chara. Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? He's holding on. They're literally just like moving him. Like, get out of Why? the way, dude. Trying to get on the train. Trying to get off the train. I don't know. Kids in the chat have said multi reverse of madness. Multi reverse. Multi cinematic universe. I forgot the whole about the whole train thing, Spider Man. Spider Man, let's go later. Spider Man, ugly train is going to go. Yeah, just wait. What? <laughs> Damn. That's that's dark. Is that what really happened? Oh the yeah, hard 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 that's dark. Oh, man. Too, oh, too, man. too good, too good. Infrastructural damage. <laughs> Are this my teammate? Eh? Yes. Ah. Oh, this yeah, what's going to happen? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> देखो कुरला स्टेशन पे आउट स्टेशन के ट्रेन कुरला स्टेशन पे आके रुकते ना तो मुंबई वाले नहीं चुरा रहे भाई ये बाहर से लोग आते ना दे आर कमिंग हेयर एंड स्टीलिंग आवर वॉलेट नॉट जॉब नॉर्थ इंडियन नॉर्थ इंडियन Yes, yes, yes. What I really like about this video is it's good to know that before he founded Boat, Aman Gupta used to take the train. <laughs> like all of us. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Who he's he's <laughs> 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 Celsius. It's like and it's, shut up! I need to look I it up. Can I tell you? No, it's seventy-three point like, four degrees Fahrenheit. It's like it's like that joke about I know New York is in Los, Los Angeles. I got it. Yes. I thought the joke already because it's so obvious. Yeah. I appreciate that though. Appreciate your insight. What would I do without you, Char Kirk? I wouldn't have known that myself. Yes. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, spill some more tea. It's very similar to what people say about Angelinos. It's like as soon as the weather gets below 70 degrees Fahrenheit, it's freezing. Let me tell you all something, okay? I like to keep this apartment at a nice cool 10 degrees Celsius. No. Hold on, shut up. You're talking about 20 degrees. Yeah, that's right. That's the joke I was going for. 10 oh. degrees Celsius. So, because I was going to say it in in English in Fahrenheit, but then uh, I thought no one was going to get that joke. So, I like to keep this apartment at a nice cool chill 10 degrees Celsius. And Charles like, "Oh, it's so cold in here." I'm like, "You're from like all over the globe. How can you be cold?" I'm from mostly hot countries. England? I lived there for 9 years. You also lived in Canada for 1 year. All of it combined, you still have been in cooler climates a lot. So this baby is more representative of you in Jabby's apartment than than Jabby in Jabby's apartment or in uh, New York. Although that being said, New York is fucking cold. <laughs> God damn, it's like Scotland up in that bitch. I'm like, God, this is ridiculous. I'm 22. It's not so bad. 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 It's not so b
Shut up. I love it, but our Maharashtrian uncles inside trains are just most useful. Like you ask anyone and they'll tell you. But I used to when I started just traveling by train, it was my favorite thing to just go and inside and ask, "Ki ye station konse baju aayega? Is taraf ki is taraf?" Everybody knows which side the station is gonna come. You know, Bandra is taraf aata hai, lekin dadar left side pe aayega. Dadar. But not at Kalyan Tan mein. Yeah. You never know. At Kalyan Station, konse side station aayega? You never know. Kalyan. Acha, kya ki? Kya bhi aata hai? Every day is different. I've literally seen crowds shift their faces completely <laughs> and then shift again because they are they are not confirmed ki kaun kaun sa side aane wala hai. Some guy just jumps in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> is that not scaring anybody? This is not scaring anybody. Like no one is freaking out. So just like, no, you know what else? That's no just, one is like, panicking inside. Yeah, yeah, so just look at all of them. Unko dekh ke aisa lag raha hai ki unko exactly pata hai ki pani kaha pe aake rukega. Yeah. Everyone is dressed accordingly. Yeah. Sabka formal dhyan se shuru ho raha hai. I would imagine that to some degree, you know, one person on the train is like, no one else is freaking out. I guess I should, and I'll just surely this is gonna stop. Like this is all makes sense in a hot second, right? Like, yeah, this is normal. This is fine. Is everyone lifting their feet? No one's lifting their feet. They're just like, this is normal. Oh. If you don't see anyone else freaking out, maybe you're less inclined to freak out. You know, like when a baby falls and parents generally go, oh no, that's when the baby cries. Yeah. But if you go, oh, good job. The baby's yeah. like, oh, why? <laughs> but I'm bleeding. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, the baby's like confused and maybe the baby goes, I'm not going to cry, I guess, because everyone's feeling good about this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Or it's just super normal. I doubt that. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Please, let's assume no one is wow. inside. <laughs> no one's inside that, right? Why do I feel I'm in a lift? Why do I feel I'm in a lift? ये बंदे ने सोचा कि मेरा रिवर्सिंग टोन में कुछ लगाता हो भाई सब कौन सा गाना चाहिए एयरटेल का थीम म्यूजिक देना मुझे कौन सी जगह थी रोहन ये घाटकोपर में था हाँ अब घाटकोपर में नहीं है कार भी लाएगा अच्छा चलता हूँ For those of you who own cars and there is a possibility even a tiny room out one that your your car will get submerged under water the best thing you can do which sounds insane is you have to wait. You have to wait until your car is completely underwater. If you can't get the door open at all, you have to wait until the car is completely submerged before you can get it open for the air to... Yes, that's that's correct. Oh, so you're talking about like, say you crashed your car and you ended up in a river or yeah. a lake. Yeah, you should you have... wait until it goes completely underwater. Yeah, because what happens is people freak out and panic and they start trying to get it open and they can't. Uh, if you're able to get the window down, that's good. Like if you're able to get it all the way down and swim out. Uh -huh. But like generally speaking, shit starts malfunctioning right away. You can't get the door open because there's too much pressure against the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it's completely underwater, then you're able to get it open, as I understand it. How I, do you know this? I looked it up. I got a little paranoid once. And so um, I, I know on Amazon, at least in the States, you can buy a window breaker. I have I, one I, of yeah, those, I used yeah. To, I used to keep it in my car. Did I give it to you? You might have done, yeah. I used to keep it in my car and then my car got broken into and that got stolen of all things. I'm like, why the fuck? You managed to break my window without it, you bitch. You can buy a window, a glass breaker that's specifically for that where you push it straight in the middle of the window and it'll it'll shatter instantly. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep a look out for your eyes, let the water come in and then swim out. You gotta wait for the water to come in. It's frightening as shit. Mythbusters covered it. Watch okay. Me, yeah. Wow. Daru 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 daru. Well, daru soda we. <laughs> nice. Do you know why they turned that to daru soda? No. Because the original one used to just say daru soda. Oh. Because <laughs> Marathi for leave. Oh yeah. Oh. Soda is for leave. <laughs> daru soda. Like yeah. leave alcohol, right? Soda Marathi. <laughs> yeah. They just had all these hoardings in the city, just saying daru soda. Yeah. And every time you drive past them, you know I wouldn't mind one actually. Or tala poja thi. Exactly. Girls, bhaiya, tikha bana do. Pani puri. Okay, so girls going, hey, uh, bro, make the pani puri spicy. I got, I got, I got, I got it, I got okay. it, I got it, I got it. Reason it's called chat. <laughs> <laughs> In my first few days in Bombay, someone told me, "Abey, I'll stop at the stop sign. What? Wow. Are you in Mumbai? Are you alcoholic? We can help. Shanti, bhai. 
What? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mulan is. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I thought what the hell she thought. Wow. And of course, who can forget Mumbai police guys? They have the most legendary memes that they post on the of Twitter. Of course. When we spot someone not wearing a mask in public, kasala karta asa. They'll always use this as an excuse to bring up my favorite Mumbai police story about how when they arrested Tiger Shroff for breaking lockdown, they tweeted very proudly the next day. Some people do not understand that doing hero panti in these times <laughs> is very not good. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbai police dropping the mic. Like so. Now Tiger one four one zero left because one we have taken inside. <laughs> Canceling Kandivli people, Kandivli people, especially Thakur village, what? are huge inconvenience to society. They should be cancelled for their toxic behavior. Help what? us make is this happen. Biggest chutiyas of the complex in there. <laughs> Best shooter of the complex at there. What is the nicest thing an absolute stranger has done for you? I just come to Mumbai from Delhi and was finding it warm, friendly, welcoming place. And then one day I was waiting for a local train at Khar, and a fast train went by. I was too close, and someone gave me a sharp, tight tapli on the head that made me snap out of it. <laughs> oh. I've gotten one of these. I was walking way too close to the train, and this guy was politer, not a tapli, but he had an empty plastic water bottle. So while going past, he just used my head for a quick snare drum. <laughs> Like one boom, <laughs> one nice like thunk ran through my full body. Yeah, <laughs> Mumbai is the only place where before saving your life, someone says "marigare yede." <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a video on YouTube you can find of some guy trying to do like a selfie in front of a train, uh -huh. and the train conductor like stepped out of the train to kick him in the head. Like straight up kicked him in the head, and it's like there's nothing you can do. There's no recourse. There's no way to get revenge on this guy. You have no idea what he looks like because all you saw was his foot. You don't know what the train is. You'll never catch him. He's on a train. <laughs> you know? Wow. The nicest thing anyone's ever done for me was nothing like that. Nothing ironic. Uh, I was at Big Boys, which is a restaurant over here in Los Angeles. They have a few. It's a chain. Anyway, I was sitting waiting to eat with my girlfriend, and this rando white lady comes up to me. You know, thank goodness for Karens. This random white lady comes up to me and goes, I am so sorry, I need to do this. And she grabs my hands and pulls me out of my seat. You know the story. Gra you know the story, right? I think so. And she grabs my hands and pulls me out of my seat. I'm like, what the F, lady? She goes, look. And I look, and there's this fat cockroach that's just hanging out right where, where my head was. And I was like, oh my God, it almost got my ear. And so I went to the lady at the cash register and I was like, hey, there's a big stoogie over there. There's a huge cockroach. It's just, she looks and she goes, oh, yeah, okay. I go, aren't you gonna do something? She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she finished doing her, doing her cash thing. Uh -huh. Finishes, she finishes, I can't even speak English anymore, God damn it. She finishes doing her cash thingy and then she just waddles off. And I'm like, well, that, I don't, that does not give me any confidence. Did you leave? Oh, and so what happened was I sat down somewhere else and I was like, wait a second, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Let's not eat here ever again, girlfriend. And then we left. I didn't call her girlfriend, I called her by her name, but I don't wanna. So yeah, like we just left and I never went back there to eat ever again. But then one day Greg and, and his fiance, they, they, their family was having lunch at Big Boys and I was like, <sighs> I'm just not gonna eat anything. And so everyone else was eating delicious food in front of me and I'm like, mm -mm, not doing it, My, I'm just, I'm superior, <laughs> so <laughs> just can't do it. It's not Kenny cockroach food. Ah. Anyway, rent in Mumbai be like forty five thousand per month. That's so gross. <laughs> yeah. yeah, accurate. Thirty two piyaza banari you aaj. Oh, yeah. You said, "Brother, tikha banara." When they said grody, sea grody. facing, it's not but, sea facing, it's sea feces. <laughs> <laughs> too much, Nothing, too much. Just me to broker for one BHK in Mumbai. Ye gas saath karon sirya apke bank account mein. Oh, cries and security deposit. <laughs> <laughs> Marathi parents after their son turns 25, finding in Gori Puri. <laughs> Mofo would be like Delhi is better than Bombay. Bro, you have to go back inside your house for fresh air. <laughs> Oh, I would say choke on it, Vishal, but you'll go outside later and do it anyway. So oh. I waste my breath. In fact, you also don't waste yours. Oh. I drop me AQI drop. 
In Delhi, uh, pulse oximeter doesn't say 97, 98. Yeah. It just says, "Mare gari yedi." Okay, so I'm sure most of you guys heard this story. When Achar and I decided to go to the Taj Mahal, because it's one of the seven wonders of the world, you see. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, when we decided to go to the Taj Mahal, it's quite a journey for those of you who have never done it. Because I know that, like, if you live in India, you're probably less inclined to go do it. Like, uh, people who live in New York don't care about going to the top of the Empire St- uh, State Building or anything yeah, like that, sure, right? Yeah, sure, sure. So, so uh, for those of you who have never done the journey, like, we were in Delhi. And it's this early morning thing. We got to take a four and a half hour drive from Delhi to the Taj Mahal. And it was like 11 in the morning, quite late in the morning. And Achara's looking around, very uh, innocent like. She's like, wow, it's still uh, it's still foggy, eh? So misty. It's still, it's still so so misty. I guess the sun didn't burn off the morning mist, huh? So misty, it's so beautiful. It is, it's lovely. And I told Achara, I'm like, that's not mist. She goes, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I told that story like 18 times. You're laughing so hard right now. I know. I just sound like a complete noob. <laughs> like, oh, is it not mist? You're like, no, it's smog. Yeah. Oh. And Achara lives has lived in Indonesia. I ja- never saw anything like that, though. N- not even in Jakarta? No. In Thailand? No, not like that. Mm, damage. <laughs> Lung damage. <laughs> Lung da- oh, that was a, a play on emotional damage. Yeah, I missed, yeah. yeah, okay. Marine <laughs> Se <laughs> oh, Go for some Navi Mumbai be living like an Excel sheet. <laughs> Sector 4A sentence. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like a prison. <laughs> row house, row number, house number, everything is perfectly aligned. Yeah. On that note, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. Ashish Chanslani, aka Theater Opi, thank you so much Stop for it. joining us. Thank you so much for being a Mumbaiker and defending our honor today. <laughs> Prisoner Opi, do we agree that Mumbaiites are savage? Of course, always agree that Mumbaiites are savage. When you are this close to death constantly. Exactly. You have, you have no choice but to <laughs> yeah. be savage. Your life is a constant state of savagery. Remember right. friends, Mare gare ede! <laughs> <laughs> I would argue that the Delhiites are, are more savage. Well, in our experience, based on the experience with the airplane lady, with the air, airline lady, who was who somehow made it my fault that her fucking employees weren't doing their job oh, and made no. us late for our flight. You know. I think I, I wonder if maybe India has a whole other level of savagery that we're just not used to as Westerners. You know. Well, you know, I, they got it from the English. English shoot them like dog shit. They gotta come back harder. It's true. Oh, it's oh, true. oh. Wow. You, you didn't see what we did with cricket, huh? Okay, go ahead. Keep saying more mean things. We'll come back at you harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, you see, because they stole cricket from the English, and the English are like, what? What's cricket? Yeah. Because they're so bad at it. No. No. I mean, I don't know. I. Uh... I would say you take your average Indian person from the street, your average English person from the street, and have them play cricket, that Indian person is going to destroy the English person. Oh, I bet. Just because kids in the UK are more interested in football. So I'm right. Sure. All right. No need to put up a fight. I will show you the light. It's okay. I will take you away from the blight. What a sight. Can we make this sop? Stop! Make this stop! Can we make this sop? Make this stop! Make this stop. All right. All right, that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is... Okay, peace out.